We are so close to getting everything we ever wanted. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Recently, there have been major releases, major improvements of AI image generation, but also AI video generation that I want to talk about today. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to look at is Gen 4 from Runway because they made a major, major step forward in the quality of these videos. So I prepared some examples here for you. The first one here, as you can see, is a cat sitting in front of a window where the rain is running down from the window outside. Everything looks beautiful, very believable, beautiful cat, beautiful movement that we can see here. Another one that I really like is this dragon flying in the air. Now, this is a first roll here, and I have to say this looks really amazing. The movement of the wings is really good. Everything is very believable and it has a very nice dynamic with how he moves forward through the sky. Now, all of these are based on image input. Of course, I have created all of these images with Korea AI. The next video I want to show you is of a bubble that is going through a city street. And again, this looks really, really cool. Now, what I really like here is the consistency of the city street behind the bubble, but also this kind of blur effect that you can see created through the bubble on the background. All of that is very beautiful, very consistent. Another example that I found really stunning is this woman in this paper multi-layer cut out here, walking sideways, side scrolling into the dark forest. You can really imagine how much artistic, beautiful movies you can make with this. Next, I have here this scene of a first person perspective, kind of GoPro style going down a water slide with the feet in front. I like the consistency also of the surrounding that is passing by the water slide. Another example I really enjoyed, and again, all of these are first rolls, is this wave inside of a transparent cube. What I really like about that is not just the very nice movement of the liquid, but also that all of the liquid is actually staying inside of the cube consistently, not going over the edges, not going through the walls of that cube. Here we have a zombie scene that I really enjoyed from the movement. I wanted the zombie to limp a little bit. I think it does maybe do a little bit of limping, but the consistency, there is no flickering. I love how the camera is moving backwards with the zombie, how there is new forest and street and everything generated around that, but also how the ripped up clothing is moving in a realistic way. Really nice. And then also I have here this wolf standing in falling snow and then turning around, walking away from the camera. Now, I didn't specifically prompt from it to turn around and walk away, but the result looks very, very nice and the fur looks really good. So after we've checked this out, let's check out Mid Journey version 7. Since I don't have a subscription for Midjourney anymore, I'm using this comparison by Kriakas and I can confirm that there has been a lot of discussion online if the Midjourney version 7 model is actually good or not. Here you can see some feedback that, for example, the prompt adherence is not as good as expected, but also text in the image isn't really readable and creates wrong text. So let's look at some example images. Here we have a comparison of the hands. And one thing I really, really like about Mid Journey version 7 is how it is very detailed. It has a very warm and organic kind of feel to it. And it looks actually very real. But as you can see here in the comparison of the hands, they look really good, but often I have seen images with the wrong amount of fingers and anatomically they maybe look a little bit strange here, while from the other image they look a bit more realistic. But I think hands are still a challenge for AI image generation. 
The next example here is this guy riding a bike in Amsterdam on a wet street. I think this is more of an easy subject and both of it do it really well. One thing of course to point out here is that AI is consistently bad with round shapes and here both of them actually do a good job also the legs are consistent with the bicycle and the build of the bicycle is also consistent so both of them are doing a really cool job in this case next we have here a comparison of a close-up shot with the woman and wearing glasses having a freckled skin and I have to say that the realism of Mid Journey here is very beautiful and also the skin details are very nice. However, one thing I want to point out is freckled skin often creates nicer detailed skin compared to unfreckled skin. So here I would have liked to see just normal plain skin to see can it actually do it. Both of the shots are pretty good though. Next, we have a comparison of a female archer drawing an error. Now here it's interesting that Mid Journey is making a wrong movement behind the neck, behind the head, grabbing the error. Of course, this could be like an artistic shot, but not really something you would expect. It's also interesting that one of the images is a photo, the other one is a classic painting, but that is also not defined in the prompt. Still, both of them are actually pretty Pretty good in what they do. This is a very interesting test that is pretty complex. Now when you look at the prompt it specifically defines where the colors is, the shapes are, but also the animals are and the colors of the animal. And you can see here that even though Mid Journey kind of gets the shapes and the colors right, the order of the animals is not fitting to the prompt. So there is some mistake in here that could be improved. Here we have a comparison of the text creation. And even though the text looks pretty good in the Mid Journey image. It is not the requested text. And of course, that is a problem. And also, when you look at the word test on the cup, it doesn't really look like it's actually on the surface of the cup. That's also a problem. While in the other example, the text is completely readable and it also looks like it is on the surface on the cup. And there's a lot of models, even the flux model that can do these kind of text things very well, also consistent on the surface. And of course, Gemini and also ChatGPT can create these beautiful images with that perspective and the correct text. So Mid Journey is a little bit behind on that. I will link this comparison below because there is more images to be checked out. I also want to add my own perspective on this. While Mid Journey has improved the model a lot and it looks really beautiful, as you have seen, it has some shortcomings, but the bigger problem here is that Mid Journey is still just Mid Journey. They didn't add a lot of functionality and that is the big problem. It's not multimodal. It doesn't have any video. It can't add audio to it. It can't add animation to it. It doesn't have any control that it doesn't have any style transfer in a major way. It doesn't have any training of your own lures or training of face lures or object lures or things like that. So even if the model is really good, it is also very limited to being captured inside of Mid Journey without much functionality. And that is a big problem, basically. But let's go on to Higgsfield Video AI because this is amazing. It's surprising. It is beautiful. And it is something that AI video generation is really lacking. And that is the motion control. Now here they have a lot of different ways of camera control. You can see here all these different tag words and they work really beautifully. If you click on any of them, you can see very, very beautiful examples for that. For example, here we have bullet time. And when you click on the different video examples, you can see absolutely amazing shots here being generated in that bullet time effect. 
that really works very well, looks really beautiful and cinematic. So I'm very amazed by that. But of course, they also have many other effects like this car grip here. And again, the results look really stunning, super cinematic. This is exactly what we need to have video that has actual passion, emotion, artistic expression in it. Because these are the artistic choices that create a movie and are more than just moving images. So these kind of shots are more than just a gimmick. They are artistic tools that are important for the expression and are part of what creates the dynamic and the storytelling in a video and in a movie. So I want to see way more of these amazing artistic styles. Look at how beautiful that is. And I hope that in the future we will see a lot more of that, but also have a lot more control over how this can be created. Now, why all of this is really amazing, you probably have also heard that ChatGPT and Gemini have added image generation that is based on the LLM models. And this is a new dimension of image generation, not only because the LLMs give a lot more control and precision to the image generation, but also because at least ChatGPT is using auto regressive image generation. Now, the difference here is that while a diffusion model is starting with a noise and try to reconstruct the image from the noise and the prompt to the final image, auto regression uses a statistic and pattern based creation pixel by pixel or line by line of the image to guess what kind of pixel or line is coming next. So this is a different process of image generation, but also it gives more control over the image generation and can work better together with the LLM because it is basically using the same kind of technology of probability and patterns. Because of that, ChatGPT can do stuff that has formerly been difficult for image AI generation. So here we have a very interesting example from Fover AI, and this is about the age. Now this is supposed to be a woman at the age of 20. Here we have 30, 40, and 50. Now, personally, I would say this is a little bit off from the age, but the benefit here is that this can actually create these finer steps in between the ages of people. Another example here comes from Min Choi. And here you can see how the sketch is turned into a photorealistic image that looks very similar to the sketch and then also removes the sunglasses for a very believable result. Now, the important part here is that this has been done without any control node or any other methods like IP adapter and such. This is just created by the input image and then the text prompt. Everything else is taken care of by ChatGPT. So you don't need to know anything about the process. You can just create the result. Another example comes here from Marcel Pocchiot. And this is the style transfer. Now here you should look for two things specifically. First of all, here we have the input image and the transfer into a different style. But what you should look for here is not just the very well working style transfer that really adheres to every detail in the image, but also the text in the background is completely there. So there is not any spelling error here. You see Laravel development perfected and we go to the original image Laravel development perfected. Even here for the blurry logos in the background with Sentry or Vulture, we go back here and we see here Sentry and Vulture. This is really amazing that this can be done and is something that is even difficult if you have ControlNet or other 
complex methods to achieve that. So this is a huge jump forward in the ability of image generation and working with images in general with AI. Now, a lot of people at this point have said this is the death of Conf UI, but personally, I would disagree with that. Actually, this is a new starting point for Conf UI that brings it into an even more professional dimension. Because first of all, even though these abilities are very beautiful, they are happening in a chat and give you very little control. So if you're working on a bigger project like a movie, a video game, an advertisement, things like that, and you create hundreds or even thousands of images, you need control, you need consistency, you need to be able to build a process that you can use again and again and again, while of course a chat that is linear will only give you this result one time. The next time you might not get the same style, quality, colors or anything specifically in the way you want it. So that is a limitation. But also don't forget through an API, you can use all of these abilities from ChatGPT and Gemini inside of ConfUI. So ConfUI is not dead. ConfUI has become even more powerful with that. That's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will bring out a new video tomorrow because there's a lot more to talk about. Thanks for watching and leave a like. Bye.